You're looking at the waterfront here of Cedar Key, Florida. We already have some precipitation beginning to develop, some thunderstorms that even have water spout potential, especially when tropical cyclone Adalia gets a little bit closer. That's when a stronger low level wind shear is going to arrive in the northeastern quadrant, but you can see some very heavy rain that's on its way. Definitely about to get a big shower. The first very outer squall here of, uh, of Hurricane Adalia, and it is rapidly intensifying. It has major convection that's wrapping all the way around the center. Just a classic rapid intensification scenario, not dissimilar from from Hurricane Ian and Hurricane Michael, for example, but this is well removed from the center of the hurricane that's moving off to the north at about 14 knots, a steady northward clip. Some of the forecast models have shifted a little bit west, a little closer to the St. Mark's area. That could just be a temporary trend. I wouldn't be surprised if it does resume that northeasterly path, just wrapping around the high pressure just offshore of Florida. If it does sustain a direct hit, or even if it moves further up the coast, a historic 10 to 15 foot storm surge is in anticipated here in Cedar Key. All of these structures will be underwater, probably underneath about six to eight feet of water, maybe even more, depending on how close Hurricane Adalia gets here. And the mandatory evacuation starts in about an hour and a half. But right now we are watching the potential for water spouts as these supercells in the far, far outer bands start to pivot onshore here in Western Florida.